Thank you very much. I would like to begin uh, by announcing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. Okay. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people comes say from it's China. racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. I and want to be accurate. About yeah, please, in John. This please. Behind you. Uh, Are you comfortable I have with a great, this term? I have great love uh, for all of the people from our country. But uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. The se my second question is, there are some, at least one White House official, who used the term Kung Flu, referring to the fact that this virus started in China. Is that acceptable? Is it wrong? Are you worried that that having this virus be, uh, be talked about as, as a Chinese virus, that that might I help? I wonder who said that. that. Focus, you know who said that? that? I'm not sure the person's name, but would you condemn you the fact say that the Kung term again. Flu, the, a person at the White House used the term just Kung term. Flu. Yeah. My question is, do Kung you think flu. that's wrong? Kung flu. And do you think using the term Chinese virus, that puts Asian Americans at risk, that people no, might target them? All. No, not at all. I think they probably uh, would agree with it 100%. It comes from China.